Hello. Yay. I bought this. <laughs> Yay. I'm enjoying Austin, Texas. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's start. Uh, let me introduce uh, myself first. Uh, I'm Yusuke Endo. Uh, my Twitter account is uh, Mametta. Uh, I'm a uh, MRI Ruby commit, C Ruby committer uh, since uh, 2008. Uh, my, my main contributions for Ruby includes uh, implementation of weird, weird keyword arguments. Uh, uh, oh, okay, uh, let me uh, excuse. Uh, I just implemented uh, the design was done by Matt. So, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I implement, uh, improved uh, test suite. Uh, of Ruby itself and design and implementation of coverage uh, measurement library uh, that serves as a backend of, you know, uh, simple curve. Uh, also, I created a benchmark uh, program for Ruby 3x3 uh, called Obscarot. Uh, last year, uh, I joined QuickPad as a full time Ruby committer. Uh, so, my current job is to develop Ruby itself. Uh, QuickPad now uh, employs two full time Ruby committers. Uh, Cookpad is uh, a risk sharing uh, platform service. And currently, Cookpad supports uh, 22 languages and services at uh, 68 countries. Uh, this service is still growing to aim to be number one in uh, 100 countries. To maintain this uh, high intensity service, uh, we need many great engineers, so we are hiring. Uh, I'm working at Japan, but Cookpad head, head, uh, sorry, Cookpad headquarters is in Bristol, uh, United Kingdom. So if you are interested in, please let me know. Okay, I did the job. <laughs> and and uh, the reason why uh, I'm uh, here today uh, is not because I'm a uh, full-time uh, Ruby committer, uh, but uh, because uh, I'm one of the most of weird, uh, weirdest Ruby programmers. So uh, today's topic, uh, transcendental programming. Uh, I guess few people uh, have heard transcendental programming because uh, I created this name. Uh, by this word, uh, I mean uh, access to enjoy programming regardless uh, practical practicality. Uh, I think all of you have uh, all of you here enjoy programming, but almost of you uh, have a practical ob objective such as uh, to create a useful web application or a tool uh, to make your life or your customer's life easier. Uh, that's great, of course. Uh, however, uh, you may miss uh, some aspects of programming. Uh, programming joy itself. Uh, we can enjoy programming without practicality. Uh, as one way to enjoy uh, the essence of the joy of programming, we can abuse uh, a useful programming language like Ruby to write a completely useless uh, but funny program. Today, uh, I demonstrate uh, some of weirdest Ruby programs I created, I have created in the act of transcendental programming. Okay? I showed this, uh, the first program. Yes, this is a program written in Ruby. Okay, zoom up the first few lines. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> you see, uh, as usual, uh, require method. But uh, do you know like uh, ASCII as follows? Again, uh, this is a Ruby program, so let's run. program and run it. Oops, my shadow. Hello, hello. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> So as you see, uh, this is a program that uh, prints hello, hello. So that's just a hello world program written in Ruby. I believe all people know hello world, so uh, it is uh, the most famous program. So do you need more explanation? Need? <laughs> okay, I explain it's internal. Uh, the program is based on gradual numbering. Uh, it is a technique to encode and decode any given string 
uh, in this case, a Ruby program takes it to a natural number uh, and vice versa. And uh, there are many approaches to do it, to get the numbering, uh, but in this case, uh, these two uh, code fragments serve as a encoding and decoding, respectively. And, and then it encodes uh, and decodes the number to a double helix style program that is executable Ruby program. Okay, to encode uh, the number to uh, double helix, it first converts uh, the number in binary notation and split into two each uh, uh, digits. And then <coughs> it translates uh, each two digits to AT or CZ or DC or TA and rearrange them to double helix style. And finally, we could get uh, the double helix program. And to decode uh, the double helix to original code, uh, you can use uh, const missing uh, to hook the bare access of uh, undefined constants. After that, uh, all you need to do is uh, the reverse process of generation. So gather them, uh, restore the number, decode it to the original code, and then uh, you can pass the decoded code to even method. However, uh, it does not work correctly yet. Uh, we need uh, one more trick. Can you uh, tell what is missing? Okay. The answer is remove const, this is. <laughs> yeah, this is a predefined constant, so we cannot hook it as is. By, remov by removing this constant, uh, it works finally. Okay, next, uh, sorry. Uh, for uh, those who want to enjoy uh, this double helix, uh, I made a gem available. Uh, so please install by uh, gem install double helix. Okay, next, next. This is a QR code, uh, two-dimensional barcode. Uh, if you have a smartphone, uh, please try to read this. I wait 10 minutes. And this is called very big, so it might be difficult to scan uh, correctly, uh, depending upon uh, your barcode reader. Okay. 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 Could <laughs> uh, read this. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a scanned result. Uh, if you could read uh, the previous uh, QR code correctly, uh, you will see this code. Uh, as you see, uh, this is a Ruby program. So let's run. Okay, this is a code and line it. Oops. Okay, uh, this is a binary of ping image. So, save it as a file and open it. Oops. Apps. So uh, if you can, uh, uh, if you uh, scan uh, this QR code, uh, you get this Ruby program. And then uh, it's get, uh, this is executed, uh, output the QR code in ping style. So uh, this is a QR code that has a Ruby program that generates itself as a ping format. Okay, uh, let me uh, show the internal. Uh, the program has three features, uh, QR encoder and ping generator and a coin. Uh, I colored uh, each, uh, each part of code. And the blue and cyan part are uh, QR encoder. And the red part is uh, ping generator. But the essence of this program is so-called coin. Coin uh, is a program that output itself. Uh, we can write a very simple coin uh, in Ruby like this. Uh, it is difficult to uh, it, it is difficult for me to explain how it works, but uh, 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 it works uh, uh, in two steps. 
the first step is uh, reconstruct itself as a string. Uh, in this case, Rupert does so uh, by using inspect method. And the second step is uh, to print out the string, generated string. So coins interesting itself, uh, but uh, the, so, uh, the structure is so simple. Uh, we can easily uh, add uh, some additional steps to make uh, uh, the coin more funny, funnier. So in this case, uh, in, uh, for the uh, QR code case, uh, I added two steps. Uh, this is a, a normal original coin code, and uh, I added uh, encoded QR, uh, my, uh, QR encoder, and uh, gen ping generator instead of uh, printing the string as is. So uh, I, uh, after I implemented these two, uh, these two methods, uh, I could get a QR, uh, QR, co QR code program. Uh, the last program uh, that I will show in this talk uh, are re related to Quine. Uh, transcendental programming is not equal to Quine, but Quine uh, is one of the most suitable theme because Quine is interesting but completely useless. Next, what is this? This is a clock. Yeah, so let's run. Okay, the program and run it. Yeah, <laughs> seven, thirteen. Yes. 21 seconds, and the output is uh, itself executable, of course. So uh, it, uh, we can run it like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, uh, this is a so-called uh, coin, uh, coin clock or a clock uh, that tells time as a code that tells a time uh, as a code that tells a time. Blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In turn, uh, I briefly show in turn. Uh, uh, this is a coin too, uh, but instead uh, of program, uh, printing uh, itself as is, uh, it reformats the code uh, to an uh, ASCII uh, of current time. Uh, for the sake, uh, I use two additional uh, techniques, uh, uh, font data uh, embedding and uh, executor as yet. Uh, they are uh, really interesting, I think, but uh, there's no uh, time to explain them, so please watch the video of my uh, Rubicon talk uh, last year. Okay, next, uh, this is the coin too. Okay, let's run. Okay, this is a program. And run it. As you see, uh, this is a coin that output itself with spider animation. Oops. So uh, uh, this is a combination of coin and animation. Uh, animation by done by uh, using uh, terminal sequence uh, 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 as uh, we said. And uh, so uh, this program uses the terminal sequence to move the castle. Uh, the, uh, it is, uses uh, four types of escape sequences to move castle up, down, uh, right, and left. Uh, this program prints one of these uh, escape sequences after each uh, letters. And as a result, uh, 
uh, the, the output of this program contains many escape sequences. So let me show. This is this file is created by uh, like this, but it takes a uh, few minutes. So I save file and yes, it is binary uh, like this. Uh, it many it has many escape sequences. Uh, so uh, some of you may think that uh, this program is not a valid client because it, uh, the output is not the original uh, code. So you are right. Uh, however, surprisingly, uh, this file, this binary file, uh, can be interpreted as a valid Ruby code, executable Ruby script, like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this output is carefully des designed uh, as a valid Ruby code, uh, even if uh, it includes many escape sequences. Yeah. So. Okay, next. Yeah, this is a music box client. Okay, let's run. This is the code. Wow. Run it. Okay, uh, it is also a simple client, but uh, with uh, playing a music of this uh, joy of man's desiring. Uh, this program contains uh, two parts. Uh, the head part, uh, whose form is uh, a musical uh, note, is a client and uh, a, a sound wave synthesizer. And the long tail part is uh, music uh, seed data. So if you uh, rewrite that uh, music test, uh, it can play uh, any uh, uh, any music uh, you like. Uh, the head part is the tail part and generates sound waves and uh, sends them to the sound driver. Okay. I played just a video. This is a combination of animation and music uh, synthesizer. This is a program called uh, Mary Quaima. Okay, this is also crying. <laughs> okay, thank you. And this is the final last program in this talk. Uh, I call reprogram crying. Uh, this is a lot of, uh, different than the previous coins I have shown uh, so far. Okay, let's run. This is the code, and run it. This is what's just normal coin. Uh, here, imagine, uh, one letter is removed from the world. Consider uh, we lose A, uh, character A, for example. 
So remove all recurrent uh, occurrences of uh, A by using set. The original program is uh, exact uh, square, but the uh, output program is uh, uh, not exact, uh, no longer uh, exact square. So actually, uh, this program has no character A that not found. So this is, uh, file is broken, you may think, but It works with that any exception. And the output is they are same and they are identical. Did you understand? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and um, the program is a word game to write paragraph in which, in which uh, particular letter is avoided. Uh, the program client is a client that works even if any one letter is completely removed. In this case, uh, we removed uh, character A, but uh, we can remove any one character. Instead of A, uh, you can remove B or C or any character. And I briefly show uh, its internal. Uh, it, this code shows a uh, uh, co trick. Uh, this code contains uh, a string literal, uh, oops, string literal and followed, uh, code two followed. And uh, code one uh, is uh, included as a string literal, so this code executes uh, code two. But if A is removed, this part this part uh, now uh, becomes a string interpolation. So uh, code one is executed. Uh, code one is followed by exit, uh, exit method. So this uh, uh, Ruby process terminates uh, before executing code two. So in other words, uh, we can use this trick to check uh, if a letter A is delete, uh, deleted or not. Um, so uh, cascading this trick, uh, we can detect any of, uh, 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 we can detect if uh, any of the set of letters is deleted or not. So this code executes uh, the letter part uh, by uh, default, uh, letter part by default, but uh, if uh, A or B or C or blah, blah, uh, removed, uh, uh, some, some letters in this line are removed, uh, the former part, this part uh, is executed. The remaining task is to write uh, this and this code. Uh, we need to this uh, these parts uh, of code by avoiding uh, any of the data set. Uh, but uh, it is not easy, but it is possible. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's all. Uh, I just showed a handful of programs I have ever written. Uh, if you want to see uh, more uh, weird programs, uh, please buy uh, my book. Uh, I don't uh, introduce uh, the world of obfuscated uh, aesthetic uh, artistic programming. And it contains about 40 programs like uh, this. Thing. Unfortunately, I don't say it is written in aesthetic Japanese, but uh, you can understand uh, the program because uh, they are written in, uh, many uh, programs are written in Ruby, what uh, that you know. Uh, alternatively, uh, you may want to see a trick a programming contest that uh, I have held three times. Uh, the two programs I showed uh, in this talk, uh, Spiral Coin and Music Box, uh, Music Box Coin, are uh, uh, the winners of uh, this contest trick. And you can read and enjoy uh, the previous winners uh, other than uh, mine uh, at this URL. Okay, I conclude this, uh, this talk. <coughs> Uh, Ruby is so powerful and weird enough, I think. Uh, actually, weirder than you know. So uh, we don't have to uh, keep it weirder. I don't know. And uh, what I want uh, to demonstrate in this talk is Ruby programming is uh, really fun. Uh, it is true even without practicality. 
But anyway, uh, if you are interested in uh, on the practical programming, please join QuickPad. Yeah, and there are many pro uh, uh, practical tasks uh, which we must address in Ruby. Okay, one more thing. <laughs> Thank you. And this is a coin created for cheap Ruby wires. Okay. Uh, it, uh, this program depends on uh, the platform, so I'd like to play a video. Okay, let's start. This is a program. It uses 3D programming animation and sound effects synthesizer. Thank you.